Hello there. Uh, this is Zinifix. I'm continuing on the series of uh, basic parkour jumps that you can do. Now, this one that I'm going to show you, I would not call a basic jump. However, I would say that this is a, a good final test to see if you really, really got uh, some of those basic skills. So each part of this jump is actually very easy. Uh, the annoying bit is that you've got to stick together a bunch of skills all at once. And that's what makes it really tricky. So, you're going to... Let me just do that first bit again. You're going to jump up this rocket <coughs> up to the, the red gate. And then we're going to fling ourselves at that pole that is currently in line with me. The trick here is to run right off the edge and when I mean off the edge I mean as on the edge as you can possibly make it so I might not make this first time but if I don't I will just talk you through what it is that I did wrong oh I did make it there we go Ta-da! okay so you'll notice what I did there I didn't land on it or at least I didn't stabilize on it straight away I bounced off, readjusted, and landed. Now that's that that is just a part of this jump. There you cannot build up enough speed to be able to land on here perfectly. You need to bounce off, readjust in midair, and then land. That's what makes it such a tricky jump. The the readjusting itself is easy, the long jump is easy, the pole jump is easy, but stick them all together in one go, then it's difficult. Uh, right, now that we're here. We're going to speed boost again and aim towards those rocks over there. And we jump over an invisible wall and ta-da, we are out of bounds. There's some really cool stuff that you can see here. What I'm going to focus on today, however, is getting on top of that building. Because it is, honestly, one of my favourite tricks to do. Uh, I used to set myself a challenge that every single time I logged off from the universe, I'd get on top of that building as a way of practising. There you go. You might need to rewind and watch that again, but essentially I landed on an invisible platform, jumped off it, and landed here. It's very similar in one of my first videos where I talked about uh, bouncing off invisible things. That, that is exactly what we're doing there. Uh, thank you very much. I'm going to do it again, but nothing after this will be new. So you can either rewind and watch me again or watch and see if I can make it twice in a row. No, okay. What went wrong there? See if you can rewind and see it. Uh, what went wrong there is I didn't come directly off the edge. If you rewind that, you'll see that I actually came off. I mean, it was close, don't get me wrong. I think I came off here, which is not the edge, which is why I didn't have enough speed. When I say you have to come off exactly at the edge there, there's no exaggeration there it is really really the edge um, and then a common difficulty that I have with this is because I'm so focused on leaving it to the last second sometimes I do just run straight over and <laughs> not jump at all let's wait for that to recharge Ooh, there we go uh, what went wrong that time is a lovely little thing called lag, which affects us all. And that time the speed boost ran out before I made it. I'm quite pleased that I'm doing this. Uh, as much as I'm failing a lot, I'm basically showing you everything that could possibly go wrong with this jump. And I hope at least trying to give you some idea of how to fix it yourselves. Right, let's give that one another go. All right, so we've got a speed boost. And it's... Oh, I'm not going to make it there. Because I was not on the edge. There we go. It was close. But it's about a stud's distance. If, I, if you don't jump right on the edge, you won't make it. Wait for that to recharge. Ooh, wait for the lag to go. <laughs> then try and 
try to remember to to jump before you hit it. That's a good jump. And I didn't jump on the other pole. I might just cut this down, actually. Ah, uh, maybe not. Ta-da! Made it up here. Jump over. There you go. See if I can show you a few errors for this jump. Um, the spot that you're aiming for. I don't think I made it clear in the first run. The spot you're aiming for. If I use the side of my bag. It's about there. That slither is what you're aiming for. It's it's one of those jumps. The more you do it, the more you know where it is. And even there's times after that that I will still not know exactly where it is. Ta-da! Right, well, uh, thank you for joining me. That's the, the last video for a while, at least. Have a lovely day. Thank you. Bye.